Oh, whoa! Jesus! Dogpa, Dogpa, what happened? <laughs> okay! <laughs> Whitney says she misses you! <laughs> I got a grocery store, do you want anything? Three. And that funny meme comes from lizards culture. Lizard cult. What? Lizards have culture on the Reddit. Yes, I found that amusing. Incredibly. Because it is so true. And Brachiosaurs don't leave the bloody fences alone. Oh my good god. Welcome everybody back to real Jurassic Park. Look at them all. Oh, they look awesome. There we go. Now we can get an even closer look at all of the Gallimimus. Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. scheming boys. Yes, they want trees. <laughs> so, hello everyone, welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. Continuing on with our amazing pack where we have Stiggy Morlocks, Pachycephalosaurus, and pretty much anything else you could want. We're also going to be releasing because we've closed off that enclosure. It's okay, just pretend we've done that. We're going to be releasing. The new and improved Rexy that only had an 80% of chance of being made. And here she is. Shamu 2. No one will know the difference. Ta -da -da. Moo. <laughs> if only. Right, so what is your rating? 384 right off the bat. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to sedate that one and move it in. We should have moved it in in enough time so it could eat the other one. Also, the raptors are not in the feeding enclosure anymore, so we'll close close the gate. Also, you guys told me um, it's not pronounced Sinceratops, but Sinoceratops. So I'm sorry. <laughs> also, um, I think you guys told me about this too. Like, you deactivate the goat feeder and then you reactivate it. And that way, it'll instantly give you another goat. I didn't even realize about that. That's, uh, that's really cool. I had no idea. Also, you, a lot of guys were like, uh, we need the other to have... Uh, did I spell that right? Subordinant. I don't know. <laughs> that it should have friends. And now it does. As long as these aren't hungry. Oh, yes, there is a little bit of hunger. Okay. So let's open up the feeding gate. No, I did not. How? I did not click it. How did I manage to do that? I clicked the, the gate. Now, what do you think? Goat gonna come out or raptor's gonna go in? Place your bets. Oh god, really? A fence broken? Dinosaur threat? Oh! Subordinate number two, the goat is out! And there you have it. Let's close the gate. Nope, I, for some reason the gate is like the last thing to be selected. But I'm gonna assume that maybe T-Rex? It's not T-Rex, what is it? Oh no! Oh, of course! Okay, run away! Everybody run! Oh god! Paras. Uh, wait, why can't I sedate that dinosaur? So, oh, okay, I'm clicking the wrong thing. Ah, that's not so good. Uh, do not go into the main street, please. Oops. Um, <laughs> I completely forgot. I forgot that we need, uh, like a paradise, didn't it? Um, yeah, we'll give it a different color, actually. So we've still got a few things to do in this game. Oh, woodland! Yes! We had, that was the one thing we unlocked recently, so we'll get that. Uh, so we got three dinosaurs that are, are on the ground. Oh my good god. How many people has it killed? Okay, it doesn't look like it's killed anybody right now. Oh, oh it's okay. They were just security. It's fine. Um, oh god. Look at it. It's a parasaur. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't this what you came here to see? Oh, they're all running away. <laughs> like the, Where are they going? Oh, they're all going to the, uh, the packy fighting arena. I would too. Go on then. Off you go. G it gives it way more visitors though. Well, I want to get along now and be very nice. So, have they sedated any? No, none of them are sedated. And where are they? Um, where did the... Pa oh my god, what? How did they get all the way around here? <laughs> That's impressive. Are they going to come... I, I swear to god, dinosaurs deliberately seek out visitors. Another fence is broken. It's going down. It's sinking. <laughs> oh, I like to be in the sunlight. Go on, wallop somebody just like in the movies. Go on. Yes, target them all. Dun, 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 dun. Now, this would be amazing, right, if we could have a Mosasaurus. Imagine a dinosaur breaking out and then going, like, really close to uh, the uh, the lagoon and then the Mosasaur just coming out and eating them. Oh, that'd be amazing. Okay, it seems like 
Uh, Sticky Marlock's not quick enough really to bowl anybody over. Oh, I like the, the, the scun. The skin color. <laughs> and he runs about the same speed as a person. So unless somebody's like stupid and actually runs into them. Which this AI is pretty to doing. Uh, oh, there it is. There it comes. You gonna get anybody? No, we're okay. Right, so. With that said, let's move the paras back into their enclosures. And Rexy needs to be moved in as well. So we got a power all the way at the power station. Power, power. Pa -pa 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 -pa. And the other one. Ooh, ooh. Where's the other one? I'm trying to trying to guess at where it is. I can't see it. We're gonna have to bring up the map. Oh, there it was. Dinosaur ready to release. Awesome. And the power that is gonna stop all the breakouts as well. Um, and somebody wanted to call the power something. Uh, thick noodles. Right, we'll call it thick noodles. So let's have a look at the woodland. Get it in the light. Oh! Oh, it's got a purple stripe! Well, that's quite pretty. It's quite pretty, actually. I mean, it's a parrot. It looks gorgeous anyway. <laughs> yes. So, without those breakouts, because I really don't know why the Sticky Moloch broke out. Is it just... It's just social. How many stickies do we have in here? Only oh, wait, we only have... Oh, God, a Pachycephalosaurus got out as well? So let's get some more Sticky Molochs. Um... Probably two more just in case. So we've got like an 88% chance of these ones. So we'll get a wetland. And that'll do. And we'll get... There's still there's one more skin we don't have. And I don't know what it is. But it does have a lot of dinosaur... Oh, ooh, step. Let's go for step. And there you go. So we can probably transport the para. Oh, no, the helicopter's almost there. So the raptors are okay. Oh! Uh, oh, what did somebody want to call the Edmondosauruses? It was a good name, actually. Oh, I, uh, we need somebody called Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> That's another funny one. I find it amusing. So we'll go to Thick thick, thick Noodles. And we'll go here. Yeah, guys, also, you know what I'm going to do? I, I also have my cup of tea, if you hadn't realized. I made another one after that one failed, so... Oh, it's nice. Oh, God. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're, I'm gonna hold another giveaway for a Jurassic World code to uh, to win a, a, or at least a Steam copy of um, Jurassic World Evolution. What I was thinking, instead of just, you know, commenting, so don't do that. Well, you can, but it's up to you, really. <laughs> um, but if you want to go on my um on twitter and make fan art of a certain dinosaur like bruton like becky or something like that and what i'll do is i'll take all the images assign them random numbers and we'll do a uh, random number generator in the next episode and that way again it'll be really it'll be completely unbiased and also um in the picture description on twitter if you want to put your steam handle so i can uh, i know it's you because that's like the best way of seeing it, like picking the right person. So we got, oh, that's Pachycephalosaurus. Get back in your kids, boy. Oh, we got a dead dinosaur. Whoa, whoa. Who died? Who died? Is that just an old dead dinosaur? It has to be an old dead dinosaur. Oh, okay. It's going to say, I don't like when dinosaurs die. That's the worst. So we, we had a Parasaur die. So far we'd have, we had Parasaur die and we've had uh, Malcolm die. Uh, that was in here. Oh, oh my god. What a conspiracy this is. <laughs> Jesus. That's uh, that's kind of scary. So we still have two exhibits. We still have these two exhibits to think about what other dinosaurs we're going to put in them. Uh, other people have suggested we put like Pachycephalosaurus and stuff like this. Um, there's also like you guys always like leave good names and I completely forget. Like if I see one, I'll like print screen it. Um, there we go. We'll have... Well, we have a Becky that doesn't have a name. Oh, Struthimimus. Where is it? Bland Becky? No, that's not the one. I think it's this one. Yeah, there you go. So we'll call this one Sprinkles. Uh, we've also got Sticky Moloch here. And we've got another Sticky Moloch. I'll bring up the helicopter because... Eh, oh, no power. Ooh, didn't expect that. Okay, let's quickly run all the way over here. Click on this. And click on this. And click on that. I done. And now I've got the power back on. Uh, fence broken. I thought that was going to be the Sticky Moloch, actually. Uh, sedate this. Uh, the helicopter's probably already... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go in here. I'm going to make this top priority. Uh, so he'll probably, he'll probably turn around. In fact, he might even be there. Uh, so we'll repair that fence. Uh, select him to do another Sticky Moloch sedation. And let's have a look at what else could be in the petting zoo. I don't know if hadrosaurs need a big enclosure. They probably don't. Um... 
Myosaur, good god, no. Uh, Giga Gigantospinosaurus might need a bigger enclosure. We could test that. We could field test it. Uh, the same with Chunkingosaurus. We really have quite... We have Ankylosaurus. We have Apatosaurus. We have Gothamiosaurus. We have Brachiosaurus. We have Camarosaurus. We, Sor we don't have Ceratosaurus. We don't have Chasmosaurus. We don't have Trunking. We don't have Kreeth. We do have Critonosaurus. We don't have... We have probably over half of the dinosaurs, I would assume, in here. Um, this, the only dinosaurs I definitely can't have are carnivores, because there's no more space. Ah, damn. Damn. So what could we have? We could have, like, a mixed bag. We could have, like, a Triceratops. You know what? No, I want to field test something. I want to do the Giga Gigantospinosaurus, because we've never had that. And we have now three dinosaurs that are on the breakout. Whoa! Uh, whoa! Okay. Um, we have the paras broken out again. Nope, nope, because it takes the uh, helicopter like 20 years to get over here. Um, they're not. Oh my god. Pachycephalosaurus actually went in! Nice, because we have four Pachycephalosauruses, so these guys are actually okay. They, they're not really worried. If anything, it's the Stiggy Moloch, and he's just been put back in here. But it's not comfortable, so it's probably gonna break out again. <laughs> it's just a juggle until we finally like sedate all the Stiggy Molochs and get them into their enclosures. Uh, I do want to start work on an Indominus Rex. I don't know whether we're going to go for a regular Indominus Rex or if we're going to go for something different. Um, so if we want like a really modified... Oh, wow, look at you! Oh, God! Oh, wait, what? What are you doing? <laughs> Is it going into that enclosure? What? Made a freaking beeline for it! That is the weirdest thing! Do you want food? Wow, okay. It, it somehow smelt the food and ran <laughs> ran from one enclosure to the other. That is the weirdest. I think I... <laughs> so we still got a sticky ball like in here. We can move that into here. That's good. That should prevent them from getting any worse. Uh, I'm just going to check up here because it's probably going to be... Oh, there's a stegosaur out as well. The sticky Moloch right here as well. How many sticky Molochs frigging got out? Okay, where is it? Where's this helicopter? Okay, it's sedating the parasaur that's in here eating. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, so we'll plunk you down in here. Well, one, having one helicopter is not a good idea. But, 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 what we want to do is try and, like, try and get this to five stars. So, poor safety. Ah, who cares? Uh, also, we've got another dinosaur that's apparently being a threat. He's okay. Perfectly harmless. Oh, yeah, I wanted to try and do something here. Um... Because there is space for stuff. It's just... What? Like, if we made uh, some path around the outside of this tower, that might work. Because then it's, sti it's still part of, like, the hotel area. So that's actually what I might do, is get rid of the clothes shop. So I'm going to delete that. Oh, God. Ooh, delete that. It did well. That, that shop did really well. But I want to... I mean, really, it's just capacity. That's it. I think one more hotel might do it. But, of course, we've got the... Uh, the sim on a rail, so we'll just delete that. So, what dinosaurs do we have? Uh, plates for days got out. Ah, oh, come on! Is that the Stiggy Moloch? I wouldn't be surprised that's a Stiggy Moloch. It is the Stiggy Moloch, okay. Apparently it's returning to base. You're bloody well not like. This should be all the dinosaurs that are broken out being sedated and moved back in. So, I'm gonna delete this hotel and see if there's a better way to keep those trees. Uh, so I think, you know what, if it means having to, like, go this way, if we have it like that. Oh, low health! Oh, no, is it, we, did I not su resupply something? Oh, what's this? Yeah! Dennis! No! What's wrong, Dennis? Need water and, uh, food. Well, I can't, it's right in front of you. I can't make it any easier. <laughs> I swear to God, there's like a code. Oh no, yeah, you guys said for names for this. So we'll have a little food. We'll have Kodak. Because, you know, it's a Kamarasaurus. <laughs> I love it, jokes. We'll call you Sony. And we'll call you Cannon. Although Cannon, oh, Cannon, 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 Cannon. Why'd you look sick? Are you okay? Your, your tail's really droopy. Why do the sauropods like climbing up hills? That's so weird. The apatosaurs don't really go any further up the hill, or at least they didn't used to. But Kamarasauruses do. It's just, it's the strangest thing. Right, so we've given them names. 
We're doing stuff, boys. Oh, this thing about like wanted to go in the gyrosphere. <laughs> I just want to see Gally Mimus. Don't know why it sucks like that, but now it does. Uh, so we've got that guy there. Um, so what I'm going to do is it kind of makes sense because you've got this hotel and then leading from here, we're going to have a little bit of a fancy path and it can go like that. There you go. Now we've got even more hotels and we just need to fix up this bit yeah. Oh no, I don't think there's- even if I move the path around this way, I don't think there's enough space for trees. But you know what? I think that's- it's not too bad. I think- oh god, that's- that's this game in a nutshell though, isn't it? It's like, no, it's not good enough! <laughs> so what I might do is, uh, delete this, and then let's hug the shore as close as we can. I mean, it's a learning experience. Really, it's your park. You can do whatever the hell you want to, really. <laughs> And there you go. So now we will connect the path, which is this one, and it can come through the trees. And there you go. Right. Okay. So now we could probably add shops and whatnot. So we definitely got capacity. We still have two dinosaurs apparently on the breakout. Oh, whoa! Jesus! Dumper! Dumper! What happened? <laughs> okay! <laughs> This is not good. Oh god. Uh helicopter please. Where are you? Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. I have to take this into my own hands. Play the chase theme! T Jesus, I how did I not see that? Uh it hasn't killed anybody yet. It hasn't killed anybody. Is it gonna go for the parrot? It yes, okay, okay. Did I get it? No, I didn't. Okay. Now the thing is, it's trying to go for people. But they're stuck in the, uh, in the, <laughs> in the queue. Oh, no, you don't! Oh, did I get it? No, I didn't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, it's in the, it's in the gentle giant's enclosure! Oh, no! Don't you, d oh, no! Don't pick a fight! It's, it's picking a, f oh, my God! Yes, okay, got it. Ooh! Oh, no! It, oh, Lady Margaret, oh, Lady Margaret hit it! What is this? <laughs> A rendition of Jurassic Park, the game. <laughs> Where did it even break out of? What? Oh my god, it wasn't happy. Because there's no trees. Oh no. Wow, this... <laughs> okay, okay, guys. We have a dead dinosaur. Who died? Okay, we got power off again. Um, okay, power off. Replenish that. Uh, please, uh, save Dennis. Dennis is not doing too hot. Oh no, who is it? Stego? Plates for days? Died of old age, how old was it? 144. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Okay, but seriously though, guys. What is going on? Um, do we have any others? Any other breakouts? No, 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 no. Pachycephalosaurus is okay. Just that T-Rex because it didn't have, um, trees. That's the reason. There you go. That should do it. It doesn't really need too many trees. Uh, we'll move out uh, plates for days. And we'll move in the second generation of Stegosauruses. And now how we can tell, what would be a really cool idea actually, how we can tell if they're a second generation is just by, um, like, because usually all the dinosaurs in- Another dead dinosaur! Oh no! <laughs> Why is it woodland? Right, okay. So we'll have aging, we'll have... That, and what is this one? Probably immune. So there's a 3% chance, 63% chance. We'll get another stegosaur. Another dinosaur died. Uh, the parrot is running along here. Is that going to be sedated? It is. Presto's on the move. But what else died? Oh, oh, the uh, Gallimimus? Oh, no. Okay, but that's okay. I don't mind if Gallimimus dies. They're like goldfish, right? <laughs> Finally, you're healing it. It's proper glitched out on that. We got an apatosaur out. So the parasaurs broke out. The T-Rex got into where the parasaurs broke out. Uh, we got a patasaurus out, which is going to upset the rest of the parasaur, the uh, patasaurs. Uh, not happy with the grassland. So we'll now remove... Uh, sorry, it's from the forest. So there you go. Happy with that? Oh, look, that was great. Rexy lasted all of two seconds in here before breaking out. Uh, hopefully, we'll, I'll keep my eye on her and make sure that she's okay. We've got a para in here. Which parasaur is it? It is... Is a snortini, okay. <laughs> Good God. Okay, Parasaur. We just need to get them moving in because they're just not happy. Uh, do we have any in here that's sedated? 
Uh, feed a supply. Oh my god, running a park is bloody hard work. I deleted some of the trees. How about that? Come on. You've got to be happy with that. Yeah, and you guys told me that grassland is also water. So I don't really have to delete all the water. I'm deleting trees. But this looks like she needs a bigger enclosure. She was completely fine. The first Rexy was fine. Is it because she's genetically modified? Is that it? Oh my god. Um, right. I. <gasps> you know what it is. Her enclosure is smaller now that there's more viewing vents. They take away the enclosure. That's it. Oh no. Um, yeah, she's going for that fence. She's really going for that fence. Uh, repair it. There's no way I can keep her in here anymore without extending the fence a little bit. I think we extend the fence a little bit. Okay, it's time to sedate her. Yeah, sorry, Rexy. I know, um, I'm gonna extend out that enclosure a little bit that way. For- oh god, oops! Uh, open gate, please! <laughs> forgot the raptors! Yeah, the discomfort- oh, the health is actually quite- oh, there you go! The big one straight away going for the goats. I think that's a really good workaround. Uh, just to sort of, instead of having them, like, the enclosure in there, just to release the goats into their enclosures. Uh, so we still have food supply that's empty. Ah! Oh, you know what it is? Dennis is- Dennis is broken. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, Dennis is- what is that? I was like, what, are you, what is that over there? Okay, so yeah, Dennis was broken slightly. So, he was, like, glitched out on the feeder. So I'll place the feeder here. Uh, worst case scenario, we might actually have to sedate, um, Dennis. Yeah, I'm gonna sedate Dennis and then move it. Okay, so let's make Rexy a little bit happier with her enclosure, shall we? <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect that to make much of a difference. Um, so what I'm gonna do is place one more that way. Sorry if most of this video has just been, like, trying to balance everything. That is the game, though, <laughs> to be honest. We got low health, that's probably Dennis. Um, and then we'll extend... That way. And that way it's got a little bit more. All we need to do is just fix the, um, the floor. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Beautiful. A little bit more. A little bit more, please. Oh, maybe that's the best we can go. Oh my god. Really? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Ridiculous. What is going on? What broke out now? What's died? Para oh no, Dennis! Dennis, man! Oh, because I sedated it. I'm an idiot. The Sukumimus took advantage. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't like it. Do we have a breakout? Was there a breakout? There's no breakout. We just got a stun. Oh, they've got the parasol still out. Because that means that the other paras are now. Like, I missed one. So the other ones are not going to be happy with me. Where are they? Yeah, comfort is dropping. We got one para. Two para. Grant died as well. Oh, for God's sake. We gotta... They've smashed the fence? No, I don't want to drive it. Come on. Um, no. Do this. Yeah. You, you can resupply. You can resupply that and fix that fence as well. Uh, we, you can also transport one of the paras. So transport that to there. And then Rexy's still in here. So transport Rexy there. Um, so we got two, two Triceratopses missing. Uh, is that a para? Oh, it's a Stego. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get another para. Sod it. I'm gonna stop these guys from, uh, breaking out. So we're gonna get another para. So this is Gen 2. Gen 2 Stegosaurus. The replacement for plates for days. It looks really cool, that woodland. Very lost worldy. So we'll also sedate you and get you ready. Have a para. <laughs> Oh, God almighty. Uh. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so hopefully uh, Rexy should be okay with this. We've given her a little bit more. Um, what I'll do is I'll probably just put trees a lot. Oh, God, no. More trees, please. There you go. Put trees over here. And hopefully she'll be okay with that. Because we've given her, like, a fair bit of extra space for what um, was taken away from her. Uh, ooh, forest. Oh, we could just get this right. How about that? Two trees gone. Oh, already bumping the fence. Okay. Um, don't worry, guys. It's fine. She's just testing for weaknesses. 
<laughs> Can you imagine that? Be like seeing Rexy in there and be like, oh god, it's gonna break out. It's gonna kill us all. Yes! Oh, thank god. We did it. We freaking did it. Just on the cusp. A little too much trees. But at this point, I'm not fussed. Like, we had to change the enclosure a little bit, but you actually can't tell the difference whatsoever there. Uh, also, we don't have the monorail complete. Uh, kind of forgot about that. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, complete that. <laughs> and we can start work on actually making this into... Oh, so you can't go over. Right, okay, so we're going to have to go, like, around this way. Okay, that's cool. That works still. Okay, so now we've got Eve. Oh, a disease contracted. Finally, for the first time in forever. <laughs> there is um, peace in Jurassic World. Um, and we're just about to get another parasaur to make that another one. Uh, so what disease do we have and who caught it? Ooh, oh, no, it's one of the Beckys. Uh, is it a Becky? Oh, it's an Archeon. No, it's not Archeon. One of the Mimus. What is it? No, it is an Archaeonthomirus. It has tapeworms! What you been eating, you carnivorous buggy, you will call you wormy. <laughs> Sometimes you're born with greatness. Other times you eat greatness <laughs> and it comes out your ass. <laughs> okay, somebody wanted a third. Right, okay. So population and social. Wow, you could have so many more in Montosaurus in here. Uh, and... Oh, no! Gallimimus? Gallimimus? What died? What died? Uh, oh no, another Stego! Steve! No! Okay, so well, that's another Stego so we have to make. Now the thing is, right, we have entered this interesting era in Jurassic World where we can, we don't need to like pump out loads of dinosaurs. So what we could do is just get the success rate up and make some amazing ones. So we go into Stego. Oh, we, oh wow, it's only on 3%. Is that the best stego we can make? Yes, it is actually. Uh, so we'll make that one. So this is a replacement for Steve. Uh, that vaccination should be done shortly. What we'll also do is uh, disease outbreak control is make Sinceratops as well. Because uh, we, Oh no, we want an Edmontosaurus, but we'll make it a better Edmontosaurus? Because I don't know how many different skins you can get. In fact, if I remember right, you can't get many skins for Edmontosaurus. But we've got the woodland skin, so let's get that. That was new. Um, and that's the best for that. You know, let's get a rating. 28% for that. And 28% for that. And 28% for that. So it's a 40 rating Edmontosaurus. So those those two, that's pretty good. Um, right. Okay, so we do have a dint in the fence in the T-Rex kingdom. That's okay. We're on four and a bit stars. Come on, we can do this. So, okay, capacity. Because we got six hotels. You know what? I think that's fine. It didn't say great, though. How many hotels do you freaking need? Is the question. I'm thinking about putting one here. Like, let's see how much we can flatten this bit. Yeah, it deliberately lifted the uh, ground to make the uh, monorail visible. So, let's have a look. Because I wouldn't mind a hotel being here, either. Ooh, I forgot how big a hotel is. <laughs> it is ginormous. Um... But if you look here, can we have a hotel at the back? Weird, I know. But is it possible? Because there is so much space here. So if we just flattened. Let's make this really big. I'm re it's got to the point where I'm just like, I want five stars. <laughs> um, doesn't seem that way. It could be obstructed because of a power line, to be honest. So let's just see if that's what's making the, the, uh, the problem. That was what was making the problem. Wow. Okay. Um, I kind of want a hotel here. Because it makes sense. Well, it doesn't really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, how about that? There you go. Now, how much space do we have behind? Good. Okay, we might have enough space to still um, heighten it. Heighten this bit. Yes, good, good, good. I want a little bit more space here. Perfect. Yes. Now we've got uh, a hotel over there, and that should, if fingers crossed, help everything else. <laughs> What's that power outage? We have things on low health. Um, so Confirm let's get that Gallimimus on low health. Oh, God. It's starving. Why is it starving? Oh, because the feeder's all the way up there. Actually, yeah, that makes that's a good point. We should we should just put a feeder down here. 
Uh, we'll put a feeder like right here. There you go. Okay, so the modern rail's complete. We're getting new dinosaurs. Uh, we do have a power outage. Okay, hatchery's offline. Fantastic. <laughs> Over here and fix this because, oh, wait, what? Wait, where's the power out? Oh, because I, uh, okay. <laughs> ah, makes sense. So, let's run this behind the hotel into the forest. A little bit more, and then boom. There we go. Everything's connected. All we've got is a Gallimimus that isn't very happy. And let's say release the Montosaurus with 40 uh, rating. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure we've seen that in one of the uh, species profiles, actually. What is that? Oh, we have a Stego over here I never put in. <laughs> How long has he been asleep there for? And a parrot as well. Oops. So I'm guessing that's Steve that's fallen asleep right there. Uh, can we pick up Steve? Come on, quickly. Steve. No. There you go. Beautiful. And what should we call you? We'll call you Eddie. Ed, Eddie, and Ed Mondini. There you go. Some... For cracky names there, Jim. Fan bloody tastic. Right, so we have like loads of hotels now. Um, it kind of makes sense because if this is like ACU, they need a place to stay. And we, yeah, but just say that's a custom building. <laughs> just like that. That's what we'll call it. So, oh, are you freaking okay, capacity? Okay, I guess now it's just a matter of food rating, drink rating, shopping rating. Oh, shopping rating, yeah. Okay. So, with that out of the Wii, is it possible now to make... Like, I like the way that looks. Aesthetically, that's really pleasing to me. Um, but is it possible? Because can we get... So, we need shopping. So, that's, that's a must. We definitely need a shopping center. Uh, shopping is going to be improved somewhat. Uh, we could have fun things over here into the petting zoo. That would make sense. You know, you see the dinosaurs, then you play bowling. Um, so, with that in mind, uh, let's go bowling. Because that... Oh, wait. What's the most fun? What's the funnest thing you can do in Jurassic World? Fun shopping. Apparently is bowling. And even then, it's not the biggest fun rating. Toy shop? That's shopping and fun. Oh, yes. Ah, okay. I've got a better idea. How about instead of running the power outside, we run it into um, this. We run it into the restricted area. Yeah, there we go. So just clipping the hotel there. Ah, but however, not clipping the friggin' uh, viewing platform. For champion mate. Bloody brilliant. Okay, and now it's feeding time for the Velociraptors again. Go on, goaties. Off you go. Whee! Freedom! Oh God, freedom! <laughs> Come on. Yeah, there you go. Da, da, da. I'm guessing these guys would be hungry at that point. Are they hungry? Yeah, they're really hungry. Off you go. Eat your goats. Just line up the animations. There we go. Present the anus. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get like a goat double kill. And no one! Is this the big one? It's darker. Subordinate one and subordinate two. Aha, there you go. The big one doesn't get its hands dirty, you see. Where even is it? Oh, there it is. Is it hungry? Yeah, it was hungry. See? We got personality in that one. So, right. So, uh, we are on four and a half stars now. We're getting somewhere. Um, capacity still. So, what, what are we lacking now? 40% rating for shopping. Um, drink and food rating could be higher. Let's have a look. Really, you've got- oh, wow, look, yes! Shopping is less needed there because we've got this thing and we can increase the capacity. I, I think that actually helps. So we'll have dino onesies and we'll put them to a profit. There you go. As long as I can have like 12,000 people there, that's better, right? Or 1,200, sorry. 12,000 people in one shop. Uh, so the next thing we need to work on is- oh, no, look, we're at 49% now. Um, is- well, it could be anything. Uh, food rating. Food and fun, I think. Food and, food and shopping. So let's go to management views. Yes, it's satisfied. Satiated. Finally. Okay. So there's there's a dire. Actually, maybe. Is that high demand? What's Is darker better than lighter? Uh, no. Food. food. So we need some sort of diner. And then we probably need um, fun or shopping. So we could have two things here. 
Oh, it, actually, no, it's not because it's really close to the monorail. And I'll just check to see if we can... You could go through there, I suppose. But this, this here is a renovation area. This is where we're going to put the new stuff. So I'm just going to delete all the trees here and just see what we can work with. So right here. So we've also got dinosaurs over here that need releasing. So we have that Montosaurus, uh, Stegosaurus now. Um, you could, the thing is, right, that enclosure where the Montosaurus and stuff are, the Montosaurus and Sinceratops, you could have quite a fair few dinosaurs in here. I mean, a lot, but it's not really that big. If you look, 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 look at that Sinoceratops go. Um, and it can't really run far. Oh, no. Oh, the other, another one died? Oh, Gallimimus 05 died of old age. How, how old did these things live for? 139. Well, we'll make them better next time. Uh, is there any of the ones that are dying? Health zero. 41, I think that's six. Starving. Yeah, he's probably got himself into a glitch. Seems to be the way- Like, I've got a lot of dinosaurs in the game, I think. And maybe it's having a problem. <laughs> so, Rexy, are you doing okay? How Did you kill any people? No. Wait, humans killed two. Well, I'm sure it's by accident. I think you stepped on them. <laughs> so, the Stego is being moved out. So let's get a Sinceratops. Let's see what we can get. I think in the next episode, what we'll do is unlock another skin pattern and another dinosaur like Baryonyx or something. Let go my Stego. There you go. Oh, God. Uh, oh, no. Harding died. Oh, looks like all the Stegos are... Or uh, uh, Lego. Legoing of life, apparently. Um, but that's okay, because we're going to get another one in. And they may break out if they're not happy. So there's Eddie. Um, we'll take oh, away uh, unnamed Gallimimus. Didn't even get a name. I'm so sorry. So we'll call this Stiggy Moloch. I don't even know what you look like. Ooh, we'll call you Green. And the Pachycephalosauruses. Don't know how long they've got to live, to be honest. Uh, oh, no, they, they've got a fair fair life. So Rock Hamster. Rock Steady. And rocking and rolling. Oh wow, I got that right. <laughs> I, was, I was like, did I did I misspell it? I'm used to misspelling things. So we, where's the yeah, so the stegos over there. Um, I don't know if I was sedate. No, I never even sedate this one. Oops. My bad. Uh, Raptors, are you okay? You're not starving? Nah, you're fine. Don't need to release a goat. Be really cool if you did that with um, uh, what you call it? The um the T-Rex, if you could, like, have a release mechanism. Apart from, you know, putting the goat into the ground. So we'll flatten this like that, and then we'll flatten this bit here. Because I wanted to lift it up, like, all around the perimeter of the restricted zone, it's it's lifted up, and then it has, like, a trench on the other side. Oh, no! Another one? Is that another? Oh, it's another Gallimimus. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, they, they were all made around about the same time and kind of have a base genome, so I'm okay. So we needed food and drink. So let's see what gives the best rating for food and drink. So that's three star, three star. What about restaurant? What's a restaurant? Uh, five star, three star. Does the diner give anything else? It gives one to fun? Ooh, you know what? Sorry, yeah, let's go for that. So that gives, that gives a little bit. So these both have a little bit of fun. We're compromising here. But that's shopping, right? No, what do we need more? Is it shopping or fun? Another one died. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, yeah, it's all these Gallimimus. I'm so sorry. None of them had names. <laughs> okay, are the Sinceratops ready? No, but they'll be ready in a second. So let me just go into management view. Oh, God. Okay, shopping or fun. What do we need? We need both, apparently. And you know what? We need fun, if anything. So we'll go for something whatever gives us the most fun, which is probably bowling. And it gives food and drink. And it's tiny. Hell yeah. Okay, there we go. We've made like a little mini hub here. I think what I'm going to do is actually just flatten that out because it looks ugly. <laughs> and yeah, maybe it's not like the prettiest of things, but it could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse, John. Yeah, that, that, yeah that's better. That's better. And we can just cover it by trees. Just to like finally need... need oh, God damn it, neaten it up. Make it neat and tidy, damn it, James. And there you go. Apparently... This isn't even connected, though. How does that even make sense? <laughs> Wait, what's not connected? Which one? The bowling alley is not connected. How is the bowling alley not connected? Is it this? Okay, something else died. What died? Uh, oh, God, we got a feeder that's out. Uh, so we'll get that. Uh, kind of just do the rounds. Because then, at least in the future... So hold on, guys. Let me just do the rounds of the park while I fix up that bloody... 
<laughs> it gets too real. It's like, no, no, it's not good enough. I need it better. Oh, yeah, and we got the Sinceratops as well. So this one is coastal. Ooh, so it's all dark. Even changes the uh, skin color on its eye. That's interesting. And release that one. We've got the helicopter rover to sedate it. <laughs> the raptors, are you hungry yet, buddy? Yeah, uh, you're getting there, but you don't need it. You need to really earn it. That's your problem. Oh, God, is that another? Oh, no, Lady Margaret, no! You fought the T-Rex! Oh, God, what the hell happened to your body? <laughs> Live for 172. It lived for a reasonable amount of time, actually. So, right, so we have no Triceratops in the park at the moment. Lady Margaret and everybody else died, unfortunately. That is a shame. Right, okay, and now this is, this is what we need. Boost that all the way up. And sell the highest. And get some profit there. Keep it to 600. What do you mean it's not connected to path? There's path like right there. This is the weirdest thing. Like, how? what, what more could I do? <laughs> for, for some reason, this bowling alley is not happy. Okay, uh, well... Oh, is it done? No, it's, not, it's still not done. Okay, so I've tried turning that thing around so many different ways... It just really doesn't want it. So, sod it. What I'm gonna do is make it there and then connect, like go, huh, and then there. Oh, oh, right. I get you. So all this path doesn't go through here. So there's no way that I, ah, okay. Now it makes sense. Right. Gotcha. Okay, so what we're going to probably do is... Get the bowling alley. But we're going to flip it maybe the other way once I delete this path. So, yeah, hold on. I'll, I'll work this out, guys. Oh, no. Something died. What died? Uh, please don't be something big. Oh, another stegosaur. No. Is that all of the stegosaurs? Like the original ones? Sis! No! 173! Oh, my God. It lived forever. So, we still got Sarah, which is 173. Um, and we still got... Oh, no, never mind. They're all flying over. So, yeah, that's probably the last one. Oh, no, that's such a shame. So, we'll make a couple more Stegos. I think we need, like, two more Stegos. So, that's one, and that's two. And the other Sinceratops, which I have actually haven't seen. Oh, there it is. Although, I can't really tell. It looks like it's a dark green. So, we'll move you out. Oh, God, we got a fence break. That's probably from the lodge. That's probably a Stego over here. So, we'll get that. Uh, sedate. Probably the Stego. Yep, that's the Stegos. I thought so. <laughs> it's because I've been, like, focusing too much on uh, on making this park, like, better over here. And trying to figure out a way to, like, line these up correctly. So, if I just go like that. No, don't, don't go straight, man. Yes. Yes, there you go. Right, okay, and now uh, all we need to do is just quickly... Uh, <laughs> it's a complete balancing act, this. Oh, it's ridiculous. And uh, we'll do that. Oh, feeder needs resupplying. And get this, the bowling alley. Uh, put the... all the way up. Make it the best one it can be. Put the profit up. There you go, 900. Then fly all the way to pick up the Stegosaurus. Put you back in there. There should be another one that escaped, actually. Yep, there it is. All the way over to the hotels. <laughs> so how's... Oh, yeah, great capacity, great satisfaction, and great... Oh, well, it was a great safety. Until the Stegosaur probably bowled over somebody. <laughs> but we're getting somewhere. We may be on to, like, a five-star, kind of authentic Jurassic World. Um, because we still got loads... I mean... Dinosaurs aren't what's going to get me more rating because I had that a while ago. It's just trying to work out a way to get this to look good and also be authentic. Um, oh, you know, it, it, it look nice, look Jurassic World, you have the dinosaurs, all that jazz. So is that T-Rex going to eat a goat? How many goats have you killed? Let's have a look. How many goats? Only nine. Two, two humans and one fence break. Uh, also, do you want to quickly, if you can, wouldn't mind fixing these things? That'd be, that'd be a great help. <laughs> the thing is, I'm forgetting what's died in that Gentle Giants exhibit. So, when that happens, you know, I'll feed the uh, raptors again. It's interesting that every, even the AI for the goats, as soon as they see a, an opening with a gate, they just sprint for it. Look at that, make a beeline for it. Don't know what awaits them outside. 
Um, so yeah, I will make blue Echo Delta and Charlie. Don't worry, guys. Um, I'm just kind of going, getting everything right first. So safety, uh, oh god, hold on. Uh, probably need to move that Stego back Heading into here. I'll check how population is okay. It's just the Stegos that are a little bit picky. Lady Margaret died, so it's going to make at least a little bit of leeway when it comes to population. So how many Stegos do we have? We've got one, two, three, and then four making this one that's going to be about to be moved in. Is four the minimum? It looks like it's probably five. So we're getting two more Stegos. Um, the Gallimimus have been dying in here. There's only three left. How old are these guys? 154. And I'm going to have to leave it here, unfortunately. Hold on. I just need to make sure that... Is this got all capacity? Yeah, that's got all capacity because... I didn't realize that that made much of a difference, but it does. So, there you go. Oh, God, no. Keep it to 900. <laughs> yes. Uh, you as well? Yeah, uh, put you... Oh, wait, I was going to say, is nobody coming here? <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> I'll put up the capacity anyway. Uh, anybody coming here? Yeah, and it, uh, yeah, there you go, he's put up capacity. Oh, no! Something else died? Oh, ooh, the uh, the goat needs replenishing. The goat feeder in here. <gasps> oh, can't have that go. So get that goat and get that one. And what died? Is it another galley? Oh, it's not. What is it? Oh, we got a feeder in here that needs replenishing. Wait, what? What do you mean no access? You go in there, and then you go in there. What are you confused about? It's like, I don't know how to get in there. Well, okay, fine. I'll do it then. <laughs> I'll do the Jeep in. I wonder why it's it's so confused. Does it not know that to get to it, you have to go in here? Surely the AI wouldn't have a problem with that, right? Like, look. It's literally all you do. Is you go in here. There. Was that really so much of a problem? There you go. God. And something else that Oh no! <gasps> Pretty Becky! Oh no, what, what was it? 130. Oh god, no, when all these start dying. Okay. Uh we need to start making more of these. We're we're almost on five stars actually, guys. So we'll uh, release that stego. Um and release that stego. Uh probably put up the hatchery, because we don't really need too much success rate when it comes to the Beckys. So go down. Pretty Becky. I don't even know what that one was. Hold on. It's broken! What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you- No! No, I didn't- Oh, no, Pretty Becky, what was it? Damn it, I shouldn't- Oh, no, it's all going apart. I'm gonna just make loads of Beckys to make up for this. Uh, let's have a look. What were you? Uh, Tundra... I'm gonna say Woodland? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> make a Woodland one. And also bring up the helicopter. To today, that Stegosaur. And... Where's the other Stegosaur? Is he running over? It's gotta be in here, right? I made two Stegos. Uh, I'm going to assume, yeah, I thought so. Oh my god, it's all of the Stegosauruses running rampant. Woo, boy. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a more relaxed episode next time. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs>